hello children so we start with the the problems on trigonometry up to transformations so last uh, slides uh, we finished uh, about the uh, I mean, uh, trigonometry formula we shall start with the problems related to this so first one x equal to sin 1 radian y is equal to sin 1 degree when compared to this one sin 1 radian is approximately 57 degrees clearly you can see that the sine function as you move from left to right the sine function is increasing so sine 1 degree and sine 57 degrees sine 1 degree and this is a sine 57 degrees clearly you can see that this is x and this is y sorry this is x equal to sine 1 radian y is equal to sine 1 degree so x is greater than y will be x is always be greater than y so the solution for the problem is x is greater than y so let's consider the second example a is equal to x cos square alpha y sin square alpha then x minus a y minus a x minus y whole square this one and you could clearly see that this identity is equal to a constant irrespective of alpha so why don't you consider say alpha is equal to 0 in this one if i take up alpha is equal to 0 clearly you can see that the value of a is equal to x then the given identity this will be equals to 0 okay and sin alpha is equals to 0 so entire product is 0 here and the entire product is also 0 so entire answer will be equals to 0 so therefore the answer for this problem is equals to 0 let's come to the third problem alpha minus beta is equals to 3 pi by 4 then 1 minus tan alpha into 1 plus tan beta is equal to how much so conveniently to work out this sum i would uh, take up this uh, 3 pi by 4 as a pi minus uh, pi by 4 and uh, so that uh, alpha is equals to pi by 4 pi and beta is equals to pi by 4 alpha i replace it by pi and beta i replace it by pi by 4 so tan pi is nothing but 0 so therefore this will become 1 minus 0 multiplied by 1 plus 1 which is 2 so the answer is equals to plus 2 so for this problem so the answer is equals to 2 so the answer is 2 let's come to the next example cos of a minus b is equals to 3 by 5 tan of a tan a tan b is equals to 2 so let me consider first tan a into tan b is how much so we consider first tan a tan b is equals to so let me take up tan a into tan b is equals to 2 so and you are given cos of a minus b is equals to how much is given it is 3 by 5 so tan of cos of a minus b is equals to 3 by 5 let me simplify tan a tan b can be written as sin a by cos sin a by cos a sin a by cos a and the sin b by cos b which is equals to 2 so from here sin a into cos b sin a into cos b is equal to 2 times cos a into sin b so let us calculate cos of a minus b over here so cos of a minus b is equal to 2 or we can use the concept of component dividend also here so sin sin cos cos denominator plus numerator divided by denominator minus numerator this can be written as 2 by 1 can be written as cos a cos b plus sin a sin b will become cos of a minus b divided by cos of a plus b and that is equals to denominator 
plus numerator 3 divided by denominator minus numerator is minus 1. But from here, we know cos of a minus b is equals to 3 by 5. So, 3 by 5 divided by cos of a plus b is equals to minus 3. So, I hope we will be getting it as a cos of a plus b is equals to cos of a plus b is equals to minus 1 by 5 is the value. So, cos a cos b. So, cos of a minus b 3 by 5 tan a tan b is equal to 2. So, cos of a plus b is equal to minus 1 by 5 will be the answer for this. Clear? Right. Let us proceed to the example 5. Tan alpha, tan beta are the roots of this equation. So, we can write the sum of the roots so, tan alpha plus tan beta happen to be is equal to minus b. So, minus b by a and tan alpha, tan beta is equal to product of roots is equal to q. So, we know tan of alpha plus beta can be written as tan alpha plus tan beta minus b divided by 1 minus tan alpha tan beta that is equal to q. So, definitely the answer is p divided by q minus 1. So, the answer is equal to p divided by q minus 1 is answer. Clear? Yes, uh, we shall proceed to the question number 6. As I told you that the previous examples uh, that uh, this is a trigonometric identity, the result is uh, called a constant irrespective of the theta value. So, if I can take up theta is equal to some particular angle, let us say theta is equal to 0. If I take up theta 0, cos 0 happen to be 1 and cos uh, plus cos 1 240 plus cos 240. You know, cos 240 is nothing but 180 plus uh, 60. Cos uh, 240 and uh, cos uh, plus cos 240. And that happened to be is equal to 180 plus 60 minus cos 60 minus cos 60. So, 1 minus half minus half. 1 minus half minus half that answer is equals to 0. So, therefore, cos 60 so 1 minus half the answer is 0. Otherwise, you can also work out this problem as cos a plus b plus cos a minus b is 2 cos a cos b. We can also do it like a cos theta plus 2 times cos 240 multiply by cos theta respectively. This will become minus a half, therefore gets cancelled, will be getting answer value 0. Let us proceed for the next problem. Cos of alpha plus beta is 4 by 5. Cos sin of alpha minus beta is equal to 5 by 12, 5 by 13. So, tan 2 alpha. See, 2 alpha can be replaced by alpha plus beta plus alpha minus beta. So, if I can write down, this is nothing but tan of alpha A plus B form. So, it is uh, convenient for me to convert this in terms of tan, this in terms of tan, so that the problem is easy to simplify and we will be getting the result here. So, let me consider cos of alpha plus beta. A cos of alpha plus beta is equal to 4 by 5 and the sine of alpha minus beta is 5 by 13. Alpha minus beta is equal to 5 by 13. So, from here tan of alpha plus beta is given by from the triangle law you can say cos is 4 by 5 and tan is 3 by 4. Similarly, tan of alpha minus beta is equal to 5 divided by 12 will be getting it. So, 5 by 13 and this is a 12. So, that tan 2 alpha is equal to it is a tan of alpha plus beta plus alpha minus beta so that uh, this is nothing but tan of alpha plus beta plus tan of alpha minus beta divided by 1 minus uh, tan alpha plus beta tan alpha minus beta 
simplifying this one you get it 36 plus 20 divided by okay, 48 minus 15 which gives you answer 56 by 33 so when you take up tan 2 alpha is equals to so 56 by 33 so the answer is equals to b okay example 8 a circular wire of radius of 7 centimeter a circular wire of 7 centimeter is cut and bent again into an arc of a circle of radius 12 so a circular wire of a radius 7 radius 7 so this this has been bent into the form of a, a sector in the form of a an arc of a circle bent in the form of an arc of a circle that means the arc length is equals to the circumference of this one as the radius of this circle is equal 7 the circumference of this one is nothing but 2 pi into 7 that is equals to 14 pi so 14 pi where that means the length of this arc is equals to 14 pi but we know when the from the basic formula l is equals to r theta l is equals to r theta theta is the angle of the sector measured in radians okay let me consider that theta is equals to l l is equals to 14 pi divided by r is the radius but the radius of this is equals to 12 now let me simplify this is nothing but it is 14 divided by 12 in terms of so degrees if you want to write down this can be multiplied by 180 divided by pi and when you simplify you would be getting the required answer as 210 degrees 210 degrees the answer is equals to b so the answer is this 210 the answer is B. So let us proceed to example 9. So at 215 at 215 uh, timing an hour hand and the minute hand of a clock form an angle. So what is the angle which is between them? But uh, in a minute hand and hour hand we know that uh, an hour hand angle between any two numbers uh, this angle is 30 this angle 30 this angle is 30 so it is 1 2 and 30 so you know that and uh, our hand will move okay, will move in one hour half of a degree half a degree in one minute sorry it is an our hand will move in one minute half a degree in uh, one minute moves in a half a degree if that is a case and we require the angle between minute hand and as well as the hour hand so the minute hand is at the number three whereas the hour hand may not be at the two but it's slightly towards three so therefore this fraction of angle if you can calculate so the required angle is 30 degrees minus this angle we getting it so that fraction of angle is nothing but in 15 minutes we know in one minute our hand our hand will move half a degree whereas in 15 minutes it move in 15 by 2 degrees so definitely that fraction of angle is given by 15 by 2 degrees so overall angle between these two hands is given by it is 30 degrees minus 15 by 2 degrees and that gives you it is a 45 degrees by 2 that is 22 and a half degrees so which gives you that 22 and a half degrees so answer is equals to b let's proceed the example 10 a cow is tied by a to a post by a rope and if the cow moves along the circular path always keeps a rope tight 
and describes 44 meters. So when it is uh, has uh, traced out uh, 72 degrees at the center, the length of the rope is given pi. So the cow has been tightened to the rope uh, and it looks like this one that forms a sector. So the cow moves in this direction. Okay, let us assume that I mean the, along the arc. Uh, so which is of length of 44 meters and the radius is r and this angle is given to you 72 degrees. So therefore this angle is 72 and uh, this has been described uh, a length of 42 and the length of the rope uh, is equals to how much is the required answer now. How do you get this one? That means the rope means nothing but the radius which the cow has been tightened. We know L is equals to R theta. So R is equals to L divided by theta and that is given by so 44 divided by 72 degrees but that should be in terms of radians can be converted as so multiply by pi by 180 so this can be multiplied by so multiply by pi by 180 degrees sorry so this is 180 degrees and that is equals to 44 divided by 72 multiply by 180 by 22 by 7 so when you simplify you would be getting 36 twice will be getting simplifying it you will be reduced to 35 that I mean 36 times and 2 and 36 so 5 times 35 you get it so the answer is nothing but 35 is the radius of a the length of the rope is uh, 35 sorry first one is the answer yes the answer is a let me consider the perimeter of a certain sector of a circle is equals to half the circle half of the circle of which it is a part the perimeter the perimeter of a sector means nothing but l and r plus r so l plus 2 r is equals to the half the circle half the circle means half the circumference of the circle you know circumference is equal to 2 pi r therefore l plus 2 r is equals to pi r so from here we say that r multiply by pi minus 2 is equal to l l is equal to pi minus 2 we know the circle measure an angle of the sector this angle theta is nothing but so what is that theta l is equals to r into theta but l is equals to r multiplied by pi minus 2 which is equals to r theta so definitely theta must be equals to pi minus 2 answer is equals to c so answer is c let me go with the next one the angles of a triangle are in AP, arithmetic progression. So let me consider the angles as alpha minus beta, alpha and alpha plus beta. The least angle that is alpha minus beta is equals to 30 degrees. But we know the sum of these angles is equals to 180. That is 3 alpha is equals to 180 degrees. Alpha must be 60 degrees. If alpha 60, then automatically from here, beta must also be, beta must be 30 degrees. Therefore, now the greatest angle is nothing but alpha plus beta. 60 plus 30, which is equals to 90 degrees answer so this is alpha plus beta so this is pi by 2 so the answer is equal to 90 degrees so answer is a so let us consider now the next problem x is equals to secant theta minus tan theta y is equals to cosecant theta y is secant theta plus tan theta y is equals to cosecant theta plus cot theta now here in this case let me go with the, the sub uh, now these are the values x comma y see for every option you have x y plus 1 so therefore let me calculate over here for a certain angle let me take up theta is happen to be pi by 4 if i take up theta is equals to pi by 4 
then x happened to be is equal to root 2 minus 1 y is equals to root 2 plus 1 so the product of these two x y is equal to 2 minus 1 so 2 minus 1 which is happened to be 2. so x y plus 1 is equals to how much you get it so root 2 minus 1 root 2 plus 1 2 minus 1 so plus 1 is equal to happen to be 2 but we know that uh, y and minus x this number can also be from here this right hand side y x minus y y minus x x plus y and x when you compare see y minus x means root 2 gets cancelled by getting 2 so therefore the answer will match with the y minus x from the option y so the answer happened to be b so the answer is answer is b so x y plus 1 is equals to y minus x next so cosecant a plus cot a from the basic uh, basic trigonometric formula we know cosecant a minus cot a will be the reciprocal of this and this is 2 by 11 and cosecant a plus cot a 11 so we need cot means the subtraction of these two will be getting two times of cot a so subtracting these two you will be getting it as 11 by 2 minus 2 by 11 so 121 minus 4 divided by 22 so when divide by 2 and take reciprocals you will be going to have 44 by 117 will be the answer here so the answer is equals to c 15th one now you know sine of alpha plus beta is equals to 1 definitely alpha plus beta is 90 degrees and alpha minus beta is equals to how much is this 30 degrees so clearly we can calculate evaluate alpha and beta clearly over here so what is alpha and beta so when you add 2 alpha happen to be is equals to 120 alpha is equals to 60 degrees subtracting it 2 beta is equals to 60 beta is equals to 30 degrees so that alpha plus beta you know alpha plus beta is equals to this one and when you add beta when you add alpha you will be getting alpha plus 2 beta is equals to alpha plus beta plus beta that is 30 plus this one 120 and uh, 2 alpha plus beta is equals to alpha plus beta plus alpha that is 60 it is 150 so this is 180 minus 60 180 plus 30 so the tangent of these values is equals to so the first one tan 120 degrees is nothing but minus root 3 and this is minus 1 by root 3 so the answer happened to be is equals to 1 so the answer is equals to 1 let me consider 16th one tan theta is equals to p by q so from here I can take up this one as sin theta by cos theta which is equals to p by q if I multiply p by q on both sides, you will be getting it p sin theta divided by q cos theta is equal to p square by q square. And when you apply the component dividend, so p sin theta minus q cos theta by p sin theta plus q cos theta means numerator plus denominator, numerator minus denominator by numerator plus denominator. So the answer happened to be b. So, p square minus q square by p square plus q square will be the answer for the problem. Next, uh, sin x plus sin square x is equal to 1, the value of cos, cos, cos power 12x plus 3 cos this value. Now, if you observe this one, 1331, the value of this one will be, it is uh, cos power 4x plus cos square x taken whole q, we can say that and from here 1 cos power 4x make it separate and cos power 4x plus cos square x separate and minus 2 but why I am writing like this one means so from here we can say that it is a sin x is equals to cos square x 1 minus sin square will be cos square x 
squaring on both sides the sin square x is 1 minus cos square x is equals to cos power 4 x cos power 4 plus uh, cos square x uh, plus cos square x happen to be is equals to 1 so with that one the given condition can be written as uh, so first one is 1 cube we get it uh, plus uh, cos power 4 x uh, plus 1 minus 2 i think 2 2 gets cancelled you get it cos power 4 but cos power 4 is equals to 1 minus cos square x 1 minus cos square x is nothing but sin square x so the answer is equals to sin square x from here let's proceed the 18th one cos theta minus 4 sin theta is equal to 1 sin theta plus 4 cos theta I do not know how much is the value. Let me take it as x. Then squaring and adding it. So squaring and adding it. Cos square theta minus 8 times cos theta sin theta plus 16 sin square theta. 16 sin square theta is equal to 1. And whereas sin square theta plus 8 times cos theta sin theta plus 16 cos square theta happen to be x square now by adding these two so clearly you could see that these two gets cancelled 1 plus 16 is equals to 1 plus x square so x is happened to be plus r minus 4 so plus r minus 4 will be the answer so let me consider now the value of cart a multiplied by cart b when a plus b is equal to So, A plus B is equal to 225 degrees. So, 225. So, that can be written as 180 plus 45 degrees. And therefore, tan of A plus B, from here you can say that tan of A plus B is equal to tan 45, which is 1. And we know from here, this is a tan A plus tan b divided by 1 minus tan a tan b is always equals to 1 and therefore from here we say that tan a plus tan b is equals to it is 1 minus tan a tan b bring it left hand side we can rewrite tan a tan b plus tan a plus tan b is equals to 1 adding 1 on both sides and when you factorize it this is nothing but 1 plus tan a into 1 plus tan b is equals to plus 2 so clearly we could see that this one if we can replace by 1 minus 1 plus tan a this is nothing but 1 divided by 1 plus tan a into 1 divided by 1 plus tan b no 1 plus tan a 1 plus tan b is equals to you will be having 2 so answer is equals to 1 by 2 so the answer is equals to 1 by 2 let me consider 20th one and this is a direct formula it is nothing but a tan pi by 4 45 degrees minus plus x is nothing but it is a tan cos 45 plus x yes so it is a cos x plus sin x divided by cos x minus sin x formula where x is equals to 9 degrees so the answer is equals to 45 degrees plus 9 degrees will be the answer so sin tan 54 degrees is the required answer here 21 let me consider tan alpha is equals to 1 by 3 tan beta by 2 so tan beta is equals to 2 tan beta by 2 divided by so 1 minus tan square beta by 2 and that is equals to 2 into 1 by 2 divided by 1 minus so 1 minus 1 by 4 so that is equals to 4 by 3 so tan beta is equals 4 by 3 tan alpha equals to 1 by 3 therefore tan of alpha plus beta is equals to it is a tan alpha 
plus tan beta 4 by 3 divided by 1 minus 1 by 3 tan alpha tan beta that is equals to you will be having 3 plus 12 divided by 9 minus 5 is equals to 15 divided by so 15 divided by 5 so which is happen to be equals to 3 is answer so answer is 3 so let me go with the, the next one so tan 1 degree tan 2 degrees tan 89 we know we have a concept that one there so when you take up here when a plus b happen to be is equal to 90 degrees we know tan a multiplied by tan b is happen to be 1 in this case tan 1 degree tan 2 degrees and so on tan 89 degrees so the first one last one the sum is equals to 90 degrees the product is 1 last but 1 and 2 degrees tan 88 degrees and 2 degrees is 1 the product happened to be 1 and exactly in the middle one tan 45 degrees is 1 and previously tan 44 degrees and tan 46 degrees even this sum is also 90 degrees it's 1 so that the product of all these values happen to be is equals to 1 so the answer is equals to 1 here let me consider 23 so when you take up the angles over here when you have a concept of that one when a plus b is equals to 90 degrees sine square a plus a sine square b sine square a plus sine square b is happened to be is equal to 1 so by using concept of 8, 85 and 8 the sum is happened to be 90 the sum of these values is equal to 1 similarly 80 degrees and 10 degrees the sum happened to be is equal to 1 and likewise when you continue for a combination of 1 degree and 85 degrees 2 degrees and 80 degrees 10 degrees sorry it is a 5 degrees 85 10 degrees 80 degrees and 15 degrees 70 degrees 75 and so on so exactly when you take up there will be 45 degrees uh, before that uh, 40 degrees and 50 degrees even this summation combination also 90 so therefore for these values the answer is equals to 1 and sine 45 degrees happen to be is equals to 1 by root 2 so these values starting from 5 up to 40 there will be 8 ones you'll be getting it so therefore 8 value plus uh, sine 45 value sine square 45 sine square 45 is equals to 1 by 2 and sine square 90 value is equals to 1 so the answer for this problem is equals to 9 and half so 9 and half let me consider tan 24 to 1 70 degrees we can be written as 70 degrees can be written as 50 degrees plus 20 degrees so tan 70 can be written as tan 50 so tan 50 plus tan 20 degrees divided by 1 minus tan 50 tan 20 degrees when you cross multiply tan 50 plus tan 20 degrees is equals to it is a tan 70 minus tan 70 multiplied by tan 50 into tan 20 degrees but tan 70 into tan 20 the product because 17 and 20 is 90 the product happen to be 1 so tan 50 plus tan 20 is equals to tan 70 minus tan 50 so tan 50 tan 50 is nothing but 2 tan 50 degrees is equals to tan 70 minus tan 20 so when you divide by this one you are going to have tan 70 tan 20 divided by tan 50 that is equal to 2 you will be getting it so from here you will be getting tan 70 minus tan 20 divided by tan 50 is equal to 2 so let me consider so the answer is 2 so next one sin theta sin 2 theta x cos theta cos 2 theta is y for a specific angle if i can consider x square plus y square let me take up 
say for example x happened to be is equals to so x is equals to yes theta is equals to 90 degrees so theta is equals to 90 degrees if I take up so x happened to be is equals to sine 91 and cos 180 is 0 whereas y is equals to so cos 90 degrees is 0 cos 180 is equals to minus 1 so that from here x square plus y square can be taken it as a 1 minus 1 1 square plus 1 square is equal to 2 so this happened to be is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 minus 3 which is equals to minus 2 and that can be written as uh, so 2 multiplied by y so will satisfy the required answer here so the answer is equals to 2y So answer is equal to 2y. Let me consider 26th one. So tan theta is equal to b by a. Then what is a cos 2 theta b sin 2 theta. So tan theta is equal to b by a. So tan theta is equal to b by a. a cos 2 theta b sin 2 theta. a cos 2 theta plus b sin 2 theta. Why don't you express this one in terms of tan formula? It is 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta and plus b multiplied by 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta. So as uh, tan theta is tan square theta is b square 1 minus b square by a square divided by 1 plus b square by a square plus uh, so 2b multiplied by b by a divided by 1 plus b square by a square. So why don't you take up? here LCM when I take up LCM a square when a comes to the numerator. So a multiplied by 1 minus a multiply by 1 minus b square by a square plus 2 times of b square by a square and divided by 1 plus b square by a square will come. So that uh, simplifying these two gets cancelled. So you will be getting 1 b square by a square gets cancelled. A you will be getting the required answer. So the answer is happen to be is equals to A. So let me consider 27th one. A cos theta plus A cos 3 cos theta plus cos 3 theta. You know cos 3 theta formula. So 3 cos theta plus uh, so 4 cos cube theta minus cos 3 theta. So 4 cos theta 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta divided by and 3 sin theta minus 3 sin theta minus of minus plus 4 sin cube theta. So this two gets cancelled and these two gets cancelled so cos by sin is cot cube theta will be the answer here. So answer is cot cube theta. 28th. We know cos 40 can be written as 60 minus cos 40 cos 80 cos 40 degrees plus cos 80 degrees plus cos so 160 cos 240 160 plus cos 240 this can be written as cos 60 minus 20 and this can be written as cos 60 plus 20 and this is a cos 180 minus 20 and this is a cos 180 plus 60 Clearly observe this one, this value cos A minus B plus cos A plus B is nothing but 2 cos A cos B. Cos 180 minus theta is minus cos 20 and 180 plus is nothing but minus cos 60. The value of this is equals half and half gets cancelled be getting cos 20 minus cos 20 minus 1 by 2 answer is equals to minus half. So the answer is equals to minus half. The answer is B. D. 29. No. Pi by 8, 7 pi by 8. So the sum of the values is equals to pi. 
and 3 pi by 8 7 pi by 8 pi by 8 7 pi by 8 3 pi by 8 5 pi by 8 so i can replace 7 pi by 8 as pi minus pi minus pi by 8 and 5 pi by 8 can be replaced as pi minus 3 pi by 8 so 5 pi by 8 so but as the even powers are there therefore i can have cos of 7 pi by 8 is the same as cos power 4 pi by 8 and this one so you will be getting twice the values so by using this one i can say that so i can use this is simplified form given condition will be simplified to so 2 times of cos to the power of 4 7 pi by 8 sorry pi by 8 pi by 8 plus 2 times of cos power 4 3 pi by 8 but 3 pi by 8 can be replaced by pi by 2 minus pi by 8 this is nothing but so cos power cos 3 pi by 8 can be replaced by sign here so 2 times of cos power 4 pi by 8 plus 2 times sine to the power of 4 pi by 8 so that can be replaced as can be simplified form cos square pi by 8 whole square plus 2 times sine square pi by 8 taken whole square and that is equals to this is 2 times cos square theta we know the formula cos square theta can be written as 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 that using that formula this can be written as cos pi by 4 whole square by 4 plus 2 times of sin square theta is nothing but 1 minus cos square pi by 4 so divided by whole square divided by 4 you get it so 1 plus cos pi by 4 so but this is in the form of 1 plus a plus b cos whole square plus a minus b whole square is nothing but twice 2 by 4 2 by 4 you will be getting 1 by 2 common a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square is 2 times of a square plus b square that means cos square pi by 4 you get it so 2 2 gets cancelled that is equals to 1 plus 1 by 2 that is equals to 3 by 2 so the answer is equals to 3 by 2 here so let me consider this is a standard bit which is a plus b plus c is equals to 180 degrees means so 180 we have an identity that tan a tan b tan c is equals to tan tan a plus tan b plus tan c will be equals to tan a tan b tan c but if i take up by 2 it is 90 degrees so therefore i say cart a by 2 cart b by 2 cart c by 2 equals to cart a by 2 into cart b by 2 into cart c by 2 or else uh, this angle can be taken each angle is equals to a is equals to b is equals to c each is equals to 60 degrees when you take up so then i am substituting cos 30 cot 30 cot 30 cot 30 simplifying and comparing the values you will be getting the required answer here and the 30th so the answer is equals to a so the next question we take up 45 degrees is nothing but 145 sorry so 145 degrees can be replaced as 180 minus 35 degrees 180 minus 35 and this is 90 plus 35 clearly tan 180 minus 35 is nothing but minus tan 35 minus k you get it and tan 125 degrees is nothing but tan 90 plus 35 that is equals to minus cot 35 that is minus 1 by k and simplifying you will be getting minus k minus of minus plus 1 by k divided by 1 the product of these two is equals to 1 negative so you will be getting 1 minus k square divided by 
2k would be the answer for this problem. So the answer is equals to C. Now, next 32. The maximum value of 3 sin x plus 4 cos x. We know that a sin x plus b cos x plus c. A sin x plus b cos x would always lies between minus root of a square plus b square and root over a square plus b square. So therefore, the maximum value is nothing but this one which is under root of 3 square plus 4 square which is equals to 5. So the answer is equals to 5. So let me consider the next question which is 5. So, cos pi by 7, cos 2 pi by 7, cos 4 pi by 7. So, if I take up theta is equals to pi by 7, then this can, this can be written as cos theta, cos 2 theta, cos 2 square theta. According to the formula, this is nothing but cos theta, 2 theta, 2 square theta. If the angles are in geometric progression, this is nothing but sin 2 cube theta divided by 2 cube sin theta. Substituting, this is nothing but sin 8 pi by 7 divided by 8 multiply by sin pi by 7. But 8 pi by 7 can be replaced by is the same as pi plus pi by 7. So, minus sin pi by 7 by 8 times sin pi by 7. So, cancellation of these two gives us minus 1 by 8. So, the answer is equals to C. So, answer is equals to C. Let me consider the next one. This is a standard bit. Huh? Sin 2a, sin 2b, sin 2c is a formula for sin a, sin b, sin c. It's a direct formula. Or else we can substitute an angle each is equal to 6 degrees and you can verify from the option wise. So the answer is equal to B. Let's consider so sin alpha sin sin x plus cosecant x is equal to 2. Sin x plus cosecant x is equal to 2 means that one is reciprocal of the other one. We know the minimum value of one number and its reciprocal 2 means each must be is equal to 1. If sin x and cosecant x is 1, each 1, 1, then only it is possible. So therefore, when sin x is 1, cosecant x is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. Therefore, this value of this one is equal to 1 plus 1. So the answer is equal to 2 only. So the answer is 2. Yes. Let me consider the next one, which is 36. Same as like a previous one, as I told you, 60, 60, 60, and this is 120 degrees. When I take up, this is 120 degrees. If I take up 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 120, 180, this also 120 degrees. We know tan 120 is equals to minus root 3 minus root 3 minus root 3 minus root 3 minus 3 root 3 divided by and pi minus 60 180 minus 60 is 120 120 120 same thing minus 3 root 3 so the value happen to be is equals to a so the answer is equals to a here so let me take up next one cart a plus cart b is divided by cot a plus cot b but clearly we know that when a plus b plus c is equals to 180 we know sigma cot a multiplied by cot b is always is equals to 1 by using this one then i say it is nothing but so it is cot a plus cot b so cot a plus cot b divided by 1 by cot a plus 1 by cot b so when you take up LCM, you will be getting sigma cot A cot B and that will always be is equals to 1. So the answer is equals to 1. So let me consider, so the answer is equals to 1. I think answer is uh, 1, not supposed to be A, uh, this is 1 only correct. By mistake, it will be given. Let me 
consider now the answer is 1. Let me take up this one. This is a standard angle same as like the previous one when you take up angles 60, 60, 60 degrees. We know sin 2a plus sin 2b plus sin 2 is equals to 4 sin a sin b sin c. Or sin a sin b sin c. Divided by when you take up the half angle formula this will be is equals to 4. So 4 times of cos a by 2 cos b by 2 cos c by 2. And when you simplify this one, sin a can be written as 2 sin a by 2 into cos a by 2. Similarly, this is sin b by 2 multiplied by 2 times cos b by 2. And 2 times of sin c by 2 into cos c by 2. Of course, this is a c actually. So, when you simplify, cos, cos, cos gets cancelled and it will be remaining with the, so 2 times sin a by 2, sin b by 2, sin c by 2, 8 times sin a by 2, sin b by 2, sin c by 2. So, 2 times sin a by 2, sin b by 2, sin c by 2. Same way, when you simplify this uh, 60, 60, 60, actually when you take up simplification, you will be getting the required answer or else you can use the concept of the formula. This is nothing but 1 minus cos 2a by 2 and this is 1 minus cos 2b by 2 and plus 1 minus cos 2c by 2. And on simplifying, you will be getting 3 by 2 times minus, so half times of cos 2a plus cos 2b plus cos 2c and this is a standard formula we need to remember it the according to the formula this is minus uh, 4 minus minus 1 minus 4 so cos a cos b cos c and that on simplification you will be getting 2 times of so because minus minus half will be getting 2 times cos a cos b cos c get it 2 times cos a cos b cos c. Let me take up sin theta 1, sin theta 2, sin theta 3. So, this is 1 and this is 1 and this is 1 then only it is equal to 3 because we know the sign takes maximum value 1 only then only it is possible. So, therefore, but sin theta 1 is 1 only when theta is equal to 90 degrees. If it is 90, mean theta 1 is equal to theta 2 is equal to theta 3 each is equal to pi by 2. So, that uh, cos pi by 2 0, 0, 0. So, the answer happened to be is equals to 0. So, the answer is equals to 0. Let me take up now this one. Sin 2 theta sin 2 phi is equals to applying the transformation here. So, you will be getting it as 2 sin sin a sin c plus sin d is nothing but uh, sin c plus sin d is nothing but uh, 2 sin c plus d by 2 theta plus phi by 2 multiply by cos 2 times theta minus phi by 2 is equals to half. Same way second one when you take up cos 2 theta cos 2 phi that is nothing but 2 times cos a cos c plus d by 2 phi by 2 multiply by cos c minus d by 2 is equals to so much 3 by 2 it is 3 by 2 we want actually theta minus phi so therefore this should exist so let me simplify this one being here so we have a sin and cos theta plus phi by 2 so let me simplify by squaring and adding these two squaring and adding these two you will be getting four times so cos square four times cos square theta minus phi value here and here you'll be getting four cos square value you'll be getting this is sin square theta plus phi by 2 plus cos square theta plus phi by 2 which is equals to 1 by 4 plus 9 by 4 and that is equals to 10 by 4 so that uh, simplifying this one, you, this is 1, therefore cos square theta minus 5 happen to be is equals to the value 10 divided by 16. Get it. 
right so you get it uh, this value is equals 10 divided by 16 and that is to 5 times to 8 times so 5 by 8 is the required answer d 43 sin square theta sin square sin theta sin cube theta is equals to 1 so from here sin theta when you take up from the first and last sin theta multiplied by 1 plus sin square theta is equals to 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta squaring on both sides this is sin square theta can be replaced by 1 minus cos square theta multiply by this is 1 minus cos square theta so 2 minus cos square theta whole square is equals to cos square theta squaring on both sides will be getting cos power 4 theta and then multiplying 1 minus cos square theta multiply by so 4 minus 4 cos square theta plus cos power 4 theta is equals to cos power 4 theta and simplifying you will be getting the required answer as 4 minus 4 cos square theta plus cos power 4 theta minus 4 cos square theta plus 4 cos power 4 theta minus cos power 6 theta is equals to cos power 4 theta so that one cos power 4 theta gets cancelled cos power 6 theta that is this one and minus 4 here cos power 4 theta minus 4 cos power 4 theta this one and 8 cos square and cos square theta 8 cos square theta is equals to 4 is the required answer so the answer happened to be is equals to 4 let me take up now the next one is so the minimum value we had seen already this value is nothing but 3 sin theta minus plus 4 cos theta value lies between plus 5 and minus 5 so the minimum value happened to be is equals to minus 5 is the answer for this one 45 cos 2 pi by 7 cos 4 pi by 7 cos 6 pi by 7 so to work out this one i take it as a s is equals to cos 2 pi by 7 plus cos 4 pi by 7 plus cos 6 pi by 7 i multiply divided by 2 sine 2 pi by 7 here so that uh, so 2 sine so 2 sine 2 pi by 7 into cos 2 pi by 7 plus uh, 2 times cos 4 pi by 7 sine 2 pi by 7 and plus 2 times of cos 6 pi by 7 and uh, multiply by sine 2 pi by 7 that is written as 2 times sine 2 pi by 7 applying the transformation this is sine 2 theta formula sine theta cos theta is sine 4 pi by 7 and this is 2 cos a sine b written as 2 cos a sine b is sine sum minus sine difference it is sine summation 6 pi by 7 minus sine difference 2 pi by 7 and here also sine sum 6 pi by 7 2 pi by 7 8 pi by 7 minus sine so difference is 4 pi by 7 clearly you can see that sine 4 pi by 7 gets cancelled and sine 6 pi by 7 is sine 8 pi by 7 also gets cancelled because this is a negative of this one because 8 pi by 7 replaced by as pi plus pi by 7 and that can be replaced by same pi by 7 so that left out with the sine 2 pi by 7 sine 2 pi by 7 and that is equals to 1 by 2 times of sine 2 pi by 7 into minus sine 2 pi by 7 so the answer happened to be minus half so the answer is equals to minus half thank you so let's continue with the other lectures uh, in the next slides we will start uh, with the inverse trigonometric uh, functions and uh, general solutions uh. so to start with uh, the first problem cos uh, inverse of half is uh, nothing but pi by 3 and uh, sin uh, this is pi by 6 so it is pi by 3 plus 2 times of pi by 6 which is equals to so 2 pi by 3 is the solution for the problem 
I hope it is the basic values directly substituting you will be getting the required answer here second one secant inverse x tan inverse x when you take up the combination of any two functions we have to take up the combined domain you know secant inverse x domain is mod x is greater than or equals to 1 tan inverse x domain is nothing but capital R the combined solution is nothing but actually the C so x cannot lie between minus 1 and plus 1 so the answer for this problem is equals to C third one cos inverse of cos of pi by 3 phi pi by 3 is an angle which you can be written as 2 pi minus pi by 3 cos of 2 pi minus pi by 3 is cos pi by 3 so therefore it is cos inverse of cos phi pi by 3 is nothing but actually pi by 3 whereas sin inverse of sin phi pi by 3 is nothing but because uh, 2 pi minus pi by 3 comes under the fourth quadrant sine will become negative so you get minus pi by 3 so the difference the sum of these two will be equals to 0 so the answer will be equals to 0 the answer is 0 let's consider the fourth one so we know secant inverse x in terms of cosecant can be written as uh, it is uh, pi by 2 minus cosecant inverse of cosecant 100 but cosecant 100 can be written as it is 180 degrees minus 80 degrees so that cosecant 180 minus 80 is nothing but 80 pi by 2 is nothing but 90 degrees minus 80 degrees which is equals to 10 degrees the answer is equals to a so the answer for the problem is equals to a let's consider the next one cos inverse of tan 7 pi by 4 7 pi by 4 is written as 4 2 0 okay 2 8 so we will be getting 2 pi minus pi by 4 which is nothing but actually <coughs> 7 pi by 4 is 2 pi minus tan 2 pi minus pi by 4 is minus tan so therefore this is nothing but the cos inverse of 7 pi by 4 is nothing but sorry cos inverse of tan 7 pi by 4 is uh, nothing but actually cos inverse of 2 pi minus pi by 4 so tan 2 pi minus is nothing but actually minus uh, tan pi by 4 minus tan pi by 4 minus 1 and cos inverse of minus 1 is nothing but actually it's equals to pi so the answer is equals to b so the answer is b let me consider the next one sine inverse of sine minus 600 we know sine minus theta is nothing but minus sine theta sine inverse of minus x is nothing but minus minus of sine inverse of sine of 600 can be written as 720 minus 120 okay my this is nothing but pi minus cot pi minus cot inverse of root 3 but uh, sine inverse of sine 720 minus comes under fourth quadrant sine is negative you get minus a sine so minus of sine inverse of minus sine 120 so 120 but uh, sine 120 is the same as sine 60 therefore will be getting sine inverse of sine 60 and therefore this is pi plus uh, pi minus uh, pi by 6 and uh, this is pi by 3 so pi by 6 sorry it is pi by 3 pi sine inverse of sine 60 therefore 60 degrees is a pi by 3 that is equals to pi by 3 minus pi and minus pi by 6 plus pi minus pi by 6 that is equals to pi plus pi by 6 which is equals to 7 pi by 6 so let's consider the next one which is sine inverse of minus cos we know cos of 4 pi by 3 cos of 4 pi by 3 minus is nothing but so minus cos pi plus pi by 3 
you know pi plus pi by 3 so you get minus cars it's so nothing but cars pi by 3 cos pi by 3 is nothing but half so therefore sin inverse of this value is equals to sin pi by 3 sin pi by sin inverse of this value is equals to sin pi by 3 so the answer is equals to pi by 3 pi by 3 or uh, pi by 6 uh, because sin uh, inverse uh, sorry it is a sign inverse of minus cos pi by this is cos pi by 3 cos pi by 3 is equal to half so sign inverse of half is equal to pi by 6 so the answer is equal to pi by 6 so pi by 6 coming to it one cos inverse of minus 1 is equal to pi and sign inverse of 1 is equals to pi by 2. Pi minus pi by 2 is equals to pi by 2 is the required answer. So, the next one. We know tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is pi by 2. We make it separate 3 tan inverse x plus pi by 2 is equals to 2 pi by 3. So, 3 times of tan inverse of x. So, 3 times sin tan inverse x. 3 tan inverse of x is equals to 2 pi by 3 minus pi by 2 that is equals to pi by 6 so tan inverse of x tan x is equals to pi by a tan inverse x is equals to pi by 18 which is nothing but actually 10 degrees so x is equals to it is a tan 10 degrees is the required answer so let me consider the next one so answer is tan 10 10th one we know tan inverse so actually if you have cot inverse this will be actually 2 tan inverse x formula so but uh, here this could be written as uh, tan inverse of something can be written as pi by 2 minus cot inverse of 1 minus x square by 2x plus uh, this is nothing but 2 tan inverse of x but uh, this can also be written as 2 tan inverse x because the reciprocal of this one is nothing but a tan inverse of 2x by 1 minus x square plus 2 tan inverse of x so these two are equal gets cancelled the answer is equals to 1 so sin pi by 2 is equals to 1 so let me consider the next one the answer is d 11th one tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is pi by 2 one more cot inverse of x is equals to 2 pi by 3 equals to 2 pi by 3 so therefore from here cot inverse of x is equals to 2 pi by 3 minus pi by 2 that is equals to pi by 6 so x is equals to cot pi by 6 is equals to root 3 answer equals to root 3 next similarly cos inverse x plus sin inverse x is pi by 2 so it is cos of cos inverse x plus pi by 2 cos 90 plus theta is nothing but minus sin of cos inverse of x but sin of cos inverse x is nothing but under root of 1 minus x square when x is equals to 1 by 5 substituting 1 minus 1 by 25 minus under root of 24 by 25 which is equals to minus 2 root 6 divided by 5 is the answer so 2 root 6 by 5 minus 2 root 6 by 5 so next one we know uh, according to the formula which is tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y which is equals to tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus x y provided x positive y positive x y is less than 1 but here 2 and 3 when you take up 
so you will be getting the product x y is greater than 1 so what i said that then there is another formula it is pi plus tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus x y to be taken for x positive y positive but x y is greater than 1 so by using this one tan inverse 2 plus tan inverse of 3 and therefore tan inverse 1 is equals to pi by 4 you know that one that is equals to pi by 4 plus so pi plus uh, tan inverse of x plus y 5 divided by minus 5 this is minus pi by 4 plus pi by 4 gets cancelled so the answer is equals to pi that's a solution problem okay so pi by 4 pi is the answer 14th one let's consider tan inverse x plus tan inverse y formula here tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is nothing but tan inverse of x plus y divided by 1 minus x y product means a power 4 that is equals to tan inverse a multiplied by a square plus 1 by denominator 1 plus a square into 1 minus a square so that 1 plus a square gets cancelled tan inverse a divided by 1 minus a square is the solution for the problem so a tan inverse b is equals to a divided by 1 minus a square so this one to simplify the problem i shall take up like this it is a tan inverse of 1 by 3 plus a tan inverse of 1 by 5 can be taken it as tan inverse x minus tan inverse of 1 by 7 so i'm taking this number to the right side so that uh, that will become actually tan inverse x minus tan inverse 1 by 7 now apply the formula tan inverse x plus tan inverse y tan inverse x minus tan inverse y it is a tan inverse of x plus y divided by 1 minus x y is equals to it is a tan inverse of x minus 1 by 7 divided by 1 minus x by 7 so eliminating tan inverse and simplifying that gives you so 8 divided by so 14 and that is equals to 7x minus 1 divided by 7 minus x so 2 fourths 2 sevenths simplifying so 49x minus 7 is equals to 28 minus 4x so 45 times i have 53x when you simplify this is uh, nothing but 45 times yeah 45 x is equals to 35 so that implies x is equals to 7 by 9 is the solution for the problem so x is equals to 7 by 9 is the required answer so let me take up the next one is about to tan inverse x tan inverse of 1 minus x 1 by 4 it's uh, nothing but verification suppose if i take up 1 by 2 so when i substitute you know tan inverse half plus tan inverse of half you get it so you'll be getting tan inverse half nothing but half into 1 by 2 divided by so 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 that is nothing but tan inverse 4 by 3 exactly satisfying the result here so the answer is equals to plus half so let me consider next one tan inverse x plus yeah. this kind of the series when i take up you are given a general solution that you can rewrite it as like this one you write the denominator always that the product of two numbers 1 plus n plus 1 into n so that numerator can be written as the difference of these two factors minus n so tan inverse of so n plus 1 minus n divided by 1 minus 1 plus n plus 1 into n this is in the form of tan inverse x minus y by 1 plus x y can be written as tan inverse of n plus 1 minus tan inverse of n and now when you substitute n, n value 
is equals to so for n is equals to 1 2 3 and so on you will be getting this one as tan inverse 2 minus tan inverse 1 so tan inverse 2 minus tan inverse 1 the next one when you substitute plus n is equals to 2 when you substitute tan inverse 3 minus tan inverse 2 when 3 when you substitute tan inverse 4 minus tan inverse of 3 so and so on we will be getting it nth term will be tan inverse of n plus 1 minus tan inverse of n so upon plus minus signs and simplification results in tan inverse of n plus 1 so all the terms gets cancelled you will be getting tan inverse of n plus 1 minus tan inverse of 1 so but when you take up as n tends to infinity the series infinite series this will become actually tan inverse of this value will become pi by 2 and this will become pi by 4 pi by 2 minus pi by 4 will become pi by 4 so the solution for the problem is equals to pi by 4 so answer is this 18th one next so actually there is one uh, uh, difference is there in the problem it is actually it is supposed to be pi plus tan inverse of minus 7 verifications wise when i take up so for example an x is equal to 2 when i substitute x equals to 2 when i substitute it is a tan inverse of 2 plus 1 3 divided by 1 minus plus it is a tan inverse of 1 divided by 2 this is x and this is y x into y is greater than 1 so that can be written as pi plus tan inverse of 3 plus 1 by 2 divided by 1 minus 3 by 2 which is nothing but pi plus tan inverse of minus 7 so the answer it's satisfying it so answer is equals to 2 will be the solution for the problem so it is supposed to be pi plus tan inverse 7 so this one has a similar problem when you simplify same as uh, the previous one but you just multiply 2 over here multiply 2 over here so you'll be getting 2 multiplied by 16 and this can be written as 1 plus 3 and this is so 3 minus 1 and this can be written as 1 plus 15 that is can be written as 5 minus 3 and this can be written as 1 plus 16 so uh, 36 35 so it can be written as 7 into 5 7 minus 5 and so on simplify you get the same as like a previous one you'll be getting pi by 4 is answered so we'll be getting pi by 4 20th one sin inverse x plus sin inverse y you know the formula is nothing but it is a sin inverse of x into under root of 1 minus y square if you take it as x and this is y plus y into root of 1 minus x square and when you simplify this one this is nothing but sin inverse of x 3 by 5 multiply by so as 3 by 5 8 by 17 they are the right angle triangles when you take up 3 5 and 4 and this is 8 17 and 15 definitely root of 1 minus y square will be is equals to 15 by 17 you get it 15 by uh, 17 and plus y is nothing but 8 by 17 multiply by 4 by 5 so 45 i think the numerator when you simplify 45 plus 32 i think you'll be getting 77 so the possible answer is equals to 85 so therefore it is a sign inverse of 77 by 85 is the required solution a is the answer so next one so tan sine inverse 1 by 3 plus sine inverse of 2 by 3 i think it is the same formula when you apply sine a plus sine b so you'll be getting it as a root 5 plus 4 root 2 by 9 same similar formula
Next, 22. Now, you have uh, cos theta is there. Therefore, as theta here, why don't you apply cos on both sides? Cos theta is equals to cos of cos inverse of x by 2 plus cos inverse of y by 3. So that uh, this is nothing but cos a cos b. It is cos a cos b x by 2 y by 3. Cos a cos b minus sin a sin b root of 1 minus x square by 4 root of 1 minus y square by 9. This is cos theta. When you interchange the position of this and this one, you can write uh, x y divided by 6 minus cos theta is equals to whole square and that is equals to 1 minus x square by 4 multiply by 1 minus y square by 9 and on simplifying this one you can see that 4 into 9 36 will come here also 36 will come and you will be getting 36 x square so x square y square by 36 minus x y divided by 3 cos theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 minus x square by 4 minus y square by 9 plus x square y square by 36. These two gets cancelled. Simplifying these two bring it left hand side. We can rewrite x square by 4 plus y square by uh, 9. So, y square by 9 and minus plus xy by 3. This bring it left hand minus so xy by 3 cos theta. xy by 3 cos theta is equals to 1 minus cos square theta. So, 1 minus cos square theta is nothing but a sin square theta. And when you take up LCM, 4 into 9, 36 will come. So, you will be getting answer is equals to 36 sin square theta. So, I hope we will be getting answer is 36 sin square theta. And uh, clearly, this is a very simple problem because sin inverse x maximum value 3 by 3 pi by 2 when x is equals to. So, I hope 1 and y is also 1 and z is equal to 1. So, solution for the problem is equal to 0. So, coming to the next one. So, 24th. Half sine inverse of 4 by 3 is equal to. Here, half angle value. Let me consider tan inverse 2 tan inverse of 1 by 2. You know this formula tan inverse 2x divided by 1 minus x square is nothing but it is a tan inverse of 4 by 3. So here tan inverse 4 by 3 can be replaced by 2 tan inverse of half. So the 2 2 gets cancelled. Therefore 32 times of this is cosecant square. Okay. So you will be getting tan inverse of half of it. But this can be written as 1 plus cot square, 32 into, so tan inverse, 1 plus cot square theta is nothing but cosecant square. It's cosecant square theta is nothing but cot square theta minus 1. Or else we can write down this as a cot inverse. So this is nothing but cosecant square cosecant square of cot inverse of 2 and that is nothing but 32 times cosecant square theta can be written as 1 plus cot square theta so it is cot square of cot inverse of 2 so cot square of cot inverse of 2 is equals to 4 you get it so 32 multiply by 1 plus 4 and that gives you answer is equals to 160 Next, so when you simplify, same as like the previous one, this uh, secant inverse will be getting cancelled by secant by taken here, tan square theta can be written as secant square theta minus 1, secant inverse of 2 minus 1 plus uh, same thing here also can be written as it is cosecant square of 
cosecant inverse of 3 minus 1 sin in sin of sorry secant square of secant inverse of 2 when you take up whole square secant secant inverse gets cancelled becoming 2 square is 4 minus 1 cosecant of cosecant inverse gets cancelled becoming 3 square so that 3 square is 9 minus 1 so 2 gets cancelled you will be getting answer is equals to 11 so let me go for the, the next one 26th one this is nothing but if I take up this is equal to theta half cos inverse x is equal to theta then x is equal to cos 2 theta so that this will become actually tan pi by 4 plus theta plus tan pi by 4 minus theta and that is nothing but actually 1 plus tan theta by 1 minus tan theta 1 plus tan theta by 1 minus tan theta plus 1 minus tan theta divided by 1 plus tan theta and that is equals to 2 times of 1 plus tan square theta divided by 1 minus tan square theta so 2 divided by cos 2 theta but cos 2 theta therefore will be getting 2 by x is the required answer so let me take up so the next one is about yeah this is not sin inverse this is cos inverse of x this is the actual question we know sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square is 2 tan inverse of x and cos inverse of this is nothing but 2 tan inverse x this also 2 tan inverse x when i take up 2 tan inverse x common here it is 3 times of 2 tan inverse x minus 4 times of 2 tan inverse x plus 2 is equals to pi by 3 and this is happened to be 1 so tan inverse x is equals to pi by 6 so answer is equals x is equals to 1 by root 3 answer so let me consider the next one so using the trigonometric I mean, uh, the triangle formula using the triangle formula this can be written as uh, you know the cart x so when cart inverse x is equal to theta this can be written as adjacent side by opposite side hypotenuse will be 1 plus x square so sine theta from here if it is a theta this is a theta then sine theta so we will be getting here sin theta is 1 by root so the whole thing can be written as it is cos of tan inverse of this sin of cot inverse can be written as 1 divided by root of 1 plus x square again when you apply tan inverse if this is equal to alpha then we can write a triangle here so tan inverse opposite side divided by adjacent side so that hypotenuse will be root over 2 plus x square and we require cos alpha here so what is cos alpha is nothing but adjacent side by cos opposite side which is root over 1 plus x square divided by root over 2 plus x square so root of 1 plus x square divided by root of 1 2 plus x square so the answer is equals to b so the answer is b so let me take up the next one which is nothing but 29th one this is just a verification when i take up here so what is the verification which i can do it in this case i would substitute a number over here and simplify it up so minus one when i take up the one tan inverse minus one is minus pi by four taken whole square and this is 3 pi by 4 taken whole square here so 9 plus 1 10 times pi square divided by 16 which is nothing but 5 pi square by 8 exactly satisfying the answer here so the answer happened to be is equals to minus 1 right let me take up the next one tan inverse we have one formula here 
So half cos inverse x is equals to it is a tan inverse under root of 1 minus x by 1 plus x. Using that one, this first can be simplified as it is nothing but 1 minus root of 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square by 1 plus under root of 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square nothing but pi by 4 minus tan inverse root of 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square which is pi by 4 minus half cos inverse of x square but that is equals to alpha so pi by 2 minus cos inverse of x square is equals to 2 alpha so clearly we could see that cos inverse of x square is equals to pi by 2 minus so 2 alpha cos 2 is nothing but x square is equals to cos of this one will become sin 2 alpha will be the answer for the problem so now let me consider next some of the problems related with the general solution so let's proceed so to the first question tan 3 theta and tan theta is equals to 1 if you can write in terms of sin and cos sin 3 theta multiply by sin theta is equals to cos 3 theta multiply by cos theta so from here cos a cos b minus sin a sin b it is cos 4 theta is equal to 0 and therefore 4 theta should be odd multiples of pi by 2 so therefore theta must be is equals to odd multiples of pi by 8 will be the solution for the problem so answer is odd multiples of pi by 2 next 32 so the general solution here you have him you are given two trigonometric functions whenever you are given two trigonometric function can be the general solution can be written as 2n pi plus alpha where alpha belongs to 0 comma 2 pi values we take up so tan is negative and cos is positive so tan theta is negative and cos theta is positive means therefore theta belongs to fourth quadrant in the fourth quadrant therefore theta is equals to 2 pi minus pi by 4 which is nothing but 7 pi by 4 plus 2 n pi so the answer is equals to this one <coughs> so the answer is equal sorry 32 answer is equals to 2 7 2 n pi plus pi by 4 7 pi by 4 now the general solution for the problem general, whenever the general solution is given to you i said so we need to substitute and verify the values for example if i take up 2 pi by 3 sine 2 pi by 3 value is nothing but is same as sine pi by 3 sine pi by 3 is root 3 by 2 you will be getting 3 by 4 and minus of minus plus 1 by 2 that is equals to I think it is 5 by 4 which is not equals to 1 by 4 doesn't satisfy so you can rule out this one and you can rule out these solutions the answer is supposed to be is equals to 1 which satisfies the given solution for the problem so B is required answer let me consider the next one 34 uh, we can also make up uh, in the same way but uh, sometimes uh, will be easy when you go for the problem so simplifying the solution sin 7 theta plus sin theta okay that is minus sin 4 theta is equals to 0 why didn't you apply transformation over here that will be sin c plus sin d you will be getting 2 sin c plus d by 2 multiply by cos c minus d by 2 so minus sin 4 theta is equals to 0 so you'll be getting sin 4 theta multiply by so 2 cos 3 theta minus 1 is equal to 0 so here the solution is equal 0 gives us cos 3 theta is equals to 1 by 2 so here <coughs> the angle will be is equals to 
so 3 theta is equals to pi by 3 so pi by 9 is a solution one solution and the sin 4 theta is equals to 0 gives us odd multiply pi by 2 so therefore theta is equals to pi by 4 would satisfy the solution for the problem so the answer is equals to a the answer is equals to a so let me take up next one tan 3 theta minus tan 2 theta by 1 plus tan 3 theta tan 2 theta tan a minus tan b by tan a plus b is nothing but tan x is equals to 1 that implies x is equal supposed to be pi by 4 but so but it does not satisfy the given result it uh, does not uh, satisfy equation so because tan 2x uh, doesn't satisfy by substituting it uh, doesn't satisfy so answer is no solution for the problem so answer is 5 so the answer is equals to 5 for the problem let's consider so the general solution for the problem here 36 uh, so you have a problem here sin 3 3x minus sin 2x uh, so first and last one when you take up it is sine c plus sine d so 2 sine 2 x multiply by cos x minus 3 sine 2 x minus 3 sine 2 x that is equals to first and last when you take up cos c plus cos d 2 cos c plus d by 2 multiply by cos x minus 3 times of cos 2x when you simplify you will be getting sin 2x common here you will be getting 2 cos x minus 3 same thing 2 cos uh, x minus 3 will be coming here minus is equals to cos 2x multiplied by 2 cos x minus 3 definitely 2 cos x minus 3 can never be 0 therefore tan 2x must be is equals to 1 tan 2x must be is equals to 1 means pi by 4 by 2 pi by 8 will be the solution for the problem so answer is equals to n pi by 2 plus pi by 8 will be the solution for the problem next one that is take up we know tan a plus tan b plus tan c equals to tan a into tan b into tan c only when a plus b plus c will be is equals to so n pi so 4 plus 1 5 plus 7 12 so answer is equals to n pi by 12 next 38 sin x minus cos x is equals to root 2, 2 sin x minus cos x is root 2 therefore from here so when you divide by root sin x minus cos x by root 2, 2 this can be written as sin x into cos pi by 4 minus cos x into sin pi by 4 is equal to 1 so therefore it is a sign of x minus pi by 4 is equals to sin pi by 2 right so the solution for the problem is nothing but x is equals to it is so pi by 2 plus pi by 4 one of the solution is nothing but actually 3 pi by 4 would satisfy the solution for the problem here so the answer is equals to 3 pi by root next same way when i go with the substituting here pi by 6 when i substitute here it is 81 to the power of 4 sin pi by 6 is nothing but 1 by root 2 nothing but 1 by 4 you get it plus 81 to the power of 4 so cos pi by 6 root 3 by 2 you will be getting 3 by 4 you get it so 81 power 1 by 4 is equals to 3 and this is 3 cube 27 that is equals to 30 would satisfy the result over here so the answer is equals to pi by 6 verification will give you solution very easily next one the general solution of this one okay where k is minimum of this number and this number 
But when I take up a square minus 4a plus 6, uh, that is equals to a minus 2 whole square plus 2 is a minimum value is equal to 2. But 2 is a number which is greater than 1. So definitely k value has to be is equals to 1. So sin x plus cos x happen to be is equals to 1. Sin x cos x is equals to 1 means dividing by root to 2 both sides. Sin x plus pi by 4 is equals to 1 by root to 2. And therefore, the solution for the problem is equals to so n pi by n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n pi minus 1 to the power of n pi by 4 minus pi by 4. So, let me consider next one sin square theta plus cos theta is equals to the number of solutions which is most important one the number of solutions for the problem sin square theta plus 3 cos theta is equals to when you simplify you are going to have 1 minus cos square theta plus 3 cos theta is equals to 3 that implies cos square theta minus 3 cos theta plus 2 is equals to 0 Simplifying cos theta minus 2 multiply by it is cos theta minus 1 is equals to 0. So definitely this cannot be 0 cos theta is equals to 1. Cos theta is equals to 1 when you take up minus pi to pi the graph of the cos function. One possible solution is only 1. So therefore the number of solutions for the problem is 1. So none of these is answer for the problem. So, there is no answer 1 actually. When I take up the number of solutions of this equation is given by, when you simplify sin by cos, 1 by cos, it is 1 plus sin x is equal to 2 cos square x. 2 cos square can be written as 1 minus 2 sin square x. And this on simplification, it is nothing but 2 sin square x plus sin x minus 1 is equal to 0. And so 2 sin x minus 1 multiply by sin x plus 1 is equal to 0. But sin x, this cannot be. Sin x cannot be equal to minus 1 because tan x is, uh, of course, uh, by cos x is not defined at this point. 1 by cos will be satisfying, does not satisfy the result. So therefore, sin x is equal to 1 by 2. So, when I take up the interval for sin x, the sin x graph looks like this one 0 to 2 pi. Sin x is equal to half means there are V solutions. So, half. You take up the straight line, sin x graph and y is equal to half line will cut the graph at two points. So, the number of solutions is equal to 2 only. So, the number of solutions is equal to 2. So, let me consider the next one. So, what is the number of solutions of this one? Observe carefully, this is can be this can be written as 2 tan x is equals to 5 pi by 2 minus 3x. Roughly, we, if we can draw the tan x graph, 2 tan x equals to 5 pi by 2 minus 3x. I shall take up the graph in the next slide. 2 tan x is equals to so, 5 pi by 2 minus 3x, 5 pi by 2 minus 3x, a constant minus 3x. So, I consider the two graphs, y is equal to 2 tan x and y is equal to 5 pi by 2 minus 3x. So, the interval is from 0 to 2 pi. So, if I take up the graph here, the tan x, 0, 2 pi. So, this is a pi by 2 and this is a pi. 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi. The tan x graph looks like this one up to infinity and it looks like this and one more curve comes like this. And this is y is equal to 2 tan x graph roughly. y is equal to 5 pi by 2 minus 3 x is nothing but y is equal to mx plus c model which is y intercept is c and therefore this is minus 3x means it will be a decreasing function 
so it looks like this one so in the interval starting from here to this one this straight line is cutting the graph at the three points so the number of points of intersections is equals to three so solution for this problem is equals to three that's answer next one and if i take up the number of solutions of the given equations so we know secant theta minus tan theta will be the reciprocal of secant theta plus tan theta 1 by root 3 secant theta plus tan theta is equals to root 3 so from here clearly you can see that the tan theta is equals to 1 by root 3 so which is a positive value which gives us the two solutions in this one so so in quadrant 1 in quadrant theta belongs to the quadrant 3 so two solutions for the problem would exist so that's a two solutions for the problem next one when i take so 3 sin x plus 7 x 7 sin x plus 2 when you factorize this can be written as 3 sin x minus 1 multiply by it is a side x minus 2 is equal 0 this cannot be the solution therefore sin x is equals to 1 by 3 consider the sin x graph when you take up the sin x graph it looks like this one so it is pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi and 5 pi sin x equals to 1 by 3 it is 1 by 3 so you consider the straight line so y is equals to 1 by 3 it will intersect up to 5 pi starting from 0 it will intersect the graph at the number of points which are 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the number of solutions is equals to 6 so let me take up the next one the number of solutions for this one in the same way so when I take up here multiply by 2 here when simplify this can be written as 1 plus sin x multiply by when I multiply 2 here and 2 times of sin x 2 sin square x is nothing but 1 minus cos x 1 minus cos x which is equals to 0 and therefore 2 plus sin x is equals to sin x multiplied by cos x and bringing it to multiplying to both sides will be getting 4 plus 2 sin x is equals to so sin 2 x we know the maximum value of sin x is equals to 1 and uh, it is possible the maximum this is not equal to cannot be equal to 4 plus value because 2 sin x minimum value minus 1 4 minus 1 is 3 sin 2 x cannot be equal to 3 so therefore which is it has uh, no solutions in this one so the number of solutions is equal to 0 so so this about uh, some of uh, the problems related with uh, inverse trigonometric and uh, general solutions for the problem. So let's consider, <coughs> so you practice uh, the number of uh, many problems of this model, you may be getting different uh, solutions of this way. Let me consider one more question here, 8 times, uh, this is actually infinite series which is infinite geometric series in the form of a by 1 minus r so it is nothing but 8 divided by 1 minus 8 to the power of a by 1 minus r and that is equals to 4 cube that is nothing but so 3 divided by 1 minus modulus of cos x is equals to 2 power i think it is uh, nothing but 2 power 6 you get it so 1 minus mod cos x is equals to 1 by 2 so mod cos x is equals to 1 by 2 so mod cos x means when you take up the graph of the function it is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 graph 
minus pi means it comes this way it comes this way and cos x equals half is a straight line when I take up it will intersect the graph at 4 points minus pi to plus pi so the answer is equals to 4